Hey, what's up guys? Then my for simple snippets back with another video tutorial on C++ programming. So in this video tutorial, we are going to be learning about the 2D arrays and what they exactly mean and how to actually code and create a program in which 2D array operations are performed. So this 2D stands for two dimensional and it essentially means that we create rows and columns or a matrix which corresponds to an array. So if you don't know what arrays are, you can check out the link in the description or you can check out some video tutorials of this playlist. And we've talked about some theory aspects of arrays as well as some operations on single dimensional arrays. So this tutorial is on 2D arrays and I won't be covering up a lot of theoretical aspects. So let's start with the programming itself. So quickly open up your editor and I am using this Dave C++ editor for C++ and you can also download it. I'll put the download link in the description and here's the question as you can see in the comment section on the top. So we're going to be performing the 2D array initialization. We're going to take input from user display output and perform two basic operations that is addition and subtraction operation. Now in just a small brief arrays are basically a collection of similar data type objects under a single name and can be accessed using index values. So the index you usually start from zero. So for a single dimensional array, this is how we go ahead and create it. We type in the data type. For example, this int is the data type of this array. So it will store only integer values. I'll type the array name. So I'll say my array and in single or square brackets, we give in the size. So the size is an integer value, for example, five. So this is the initialization of a single dimensional array, but in 2D array, there is one more square bracket pair and in this pair, we give the column. So the length of the column. So if I say five, this would essentially mean that this my array is going to store a five cross five array, or you can say that it is going to store five into five, that is 25 elements. So it will have five rows and five columns. So this was just the initialization part. Now, if you directly want to assign values along with in initialization, you can write down this code or this syntax. You will say int my array. I'll say two rows and two columns and I'll directly initialize it. And two cross two means it would store four elements. So we just have to multiply the rows and columns and you'll get the number of elements it will store. So I'll say one comma two comma three comma four. Now it will automatically assign rows and columns accordingly. So the first element would be at zero comma zero position. So zero through zero column. Then this would be zero comma one. So zero through but second col uh, second column. Then this would be column number one or column zero and row one. And this would be one comma one. There is one more type of initialization and you can say my array two and say three three and inside these curly brackets you can again give small curly brackets for rows so i'll say one 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 then i'll say comma and again curly braces I'll say two comma two comma two and for the third row i'll say three comma three comma three so these are the different variations of initialization as well as initialization and okay. So this was the declaration and not initialization. This was declaration with initialization and this was again declaration with initialization. So how do we go about printing these values and showing it on the command prompt? So in order to iterate through 2D arrays, we have to use two for loop structures. So let me just write down syntax. I'll say for int i equal to zero since our index starts from zero. Let's say i less than four or I'll say i less than three and i plus plus. So we'll print out the values of my array two. That is the third array that we created. So this is the first for loop and this will run for the rows. And again, we'll create one more for loop. So I'll say int j equals to zero and again j less than three since the columns are also three and j plus plus. So here I'll say C out and C out is used to print output on the console. And I'll say my array two of i comma j. And then I'll print some space in between. And after the second for loop ends, I'll add a end l statement. So what will it do it is it will print the row on the, so it will print the second row on the next line. So let me just save this 
and let's see how it runs so there you go with the output and you can see it's printed 1 1 1 as the first row 2 2 2 as the second and 3 3 3 as the third so it printed it into a matrix form or a two dimensional form which has rows and columns so this was for the output or displaying of any 2d array so always remember we require two for loops one is for the rows and the another one is for the columns now similarly we can take input as well so i'll just copy paste this and i'll say see out enter values for a 2 cross 2 matrix and then i'll just change these values from 3 to 2 and we'll take input for my array 1 and I'll just have to change C out to C in which should take input from the console and again to print them out or to again display the output we'll have to again copy and paste this code and say values for 2 cross 2 matrix would be I'll say C out change this sign and again add some space in between so let's see if this works so it's asking me enter the values for 2 cross 2 matrix so I'll say 1 space 1 space 2 space 2 so once I give a space in between it will automatically take in the next value and if I hit enter so it says value for 2 cross 2 matrix is 1 1 and 2 2 so I just wanted to print it on the next line so I'll say end L save this and again execute it so I can even give values like 1 1 2 2 so there you go with the output values of 2 cross 2 matrix are 1 1 2 2 now to perform addition we we'll create two different arrays first so I'll say int a I'll create a 2 cross 2 matrix or 2 cross 2 array for simplicity purpose and b again 2 cross 2 matrix and an array name total or I'll say array name addition which is again 2 cross 2 and subtraction which is again 2 cross 2 so what we'll do is we'll first take input for a and b so let me just cut out all this part or the starting part first okay so I'll say enter values of 2d array a then enter values of 2d array b and then again one for loop for performing all the addition and subtraction operations so addition of i comma j would be equal to a of i comma j plus b of i comma j similarly for subtraction i just need to copy paste this double for loop structure and just need to change the names and the operator in between and then again just to print out the values I have to use this for loops so I'll copy and paste it again I'll say values of addition array are and I'll say values for or values of subtraction array r and I'll just change the array name over here so this takes care of taking input so these two are for that then these two for loops are to perform the proper addition and subtraction and the last two for loops are to print the values of addition and subtraction array so let's save this and let's see how this works okay I had a typo so let me just save this okay so it's asking me for the first array so I'll say 3 space 3 4 space 4 now for the second array I'll say 2 space 2 and 1 space 1 so the values of addition array are 5 5 5 5 and subtraction is 1 1 3 3 so we've got the correct values so we just need to present them in a matrix format so I just need to add one endl construct over here and a little bit of space in between and similarly for the subtraction array as well okay, so let's do it for one last time I'll say 2 2 2 2 and for the second array I'll say 3 
or one 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 and there you go with the value of addition array so we just added all these values and for subtraction array it is subtraction of these two arrays so that's it for this video guys and i hope you understood the concept of 2d arrays and how to go about programming and creating programs with 2d arrays and also performing some basic subtraction and addition operations so if you like this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel peace